Hello friends. Hope you all are doing fine in this uh, COVID-19 situation. Last time I had shared with you uh, one macro created in Idea Caseware related to GL audit and how uh, Idea macro could help us generate uh, 12 uh, reports within 10 minutes. This time uh, I have worked upon procurement related audits and uh, I intend to uh, help you create 16 uh, similar type of analytics report related to procurement data so that your audit becomes more effective. And again, uh, I have created a macro in idea caseware and I hope uh, that will help uh, you, you know, generate those 16 analytics report similar to like what we had done last time. So uh, I have checked that and uh, I was uh, really pleasantly surprised that it took just uh, 6 to 8 minutes to generate uh, those 16 analytics with the data running in uh, thousands of rows. So uh, let's move on uh, to do the procurement audit analytics. We need to have all these tables data. So as you can see, uh, these are the three categories of uh, tables where I need to have the data, HR, vendor and purchase order. For HR, we will need to have three uh, tables, for vendors again three tables and for purchase order two tables. These HR three tables and vendor first two tables are master data. So there is no uh, you know uh, time li uh, limitation, but uh, um, BSI ke under vendor master data table under vendor group uh, is a transactional data. Here also there is no lim uh, uh, limit uh, on the ti uh, timing so uh, or period I would say. So you can generate the BSI K without giving any limitation. BSI K is a uh, vendor open item uh, table. Now in case of purchase order related tables, uh, it's upon you, uh, you know, uh, for how long uh, uh, you want to have this data analytics, whether you want to do it for one year, two years, three years, it's all upon you. So, uh, and then uh, once you have, uh, these are the field level uh, information which you need to get for each uh, table. I'll share uh, these field level data separately. Now let me explain you what are those 16 analytics uh, which we can generate through IDEA for procurement audit. See, uh, so these are the 16 uh, total reports uh, I am intending to help you to generate through IDEA. First one is employee and vendor are having same bank accounts. As it clearly tells like you know, uh, if uh, we have uh, this type of situation then we should ask uh, company why they are having uh, employee and vendor two different entities are having same bank accounts. Second report is uh, more than one vendor having same bank. Uh, what I am uh, telling you here like you know uh, it's just not the employee even uh, two different vendors are have sharing the same bank account how it is possible. Or there may be some genuine reason also, but we should check. In the third report, I am uh, showing you whether there are duplicate master data created. So same vendor having multiple master data. So if that is the case, then you know uh, that should be uh, controlled. And uh, one or two or whatever multiple master data same vendor is having should be closed. As it uh, it all uh, all these things uh, you know uh, are prone to manipulation. And in the fourth test, I am showing you transactions which got impacted for vendors having the same bank. So you know multiple vendors uh, sharing the same bank account. Then what are the transactions uh, have resulted for those vendors? In test. 5 I am showing you purchase order and contracts pending for release for more than 90 days. So what I am uh, uh, telling here is like you know when we create a purchase order or a purchase uh, contract so then should be released uh, in a normal period of time. So if it is pending for release for more than 90 days then 
that should be investigated and reported upon in the sixth uh, uh, test i am showing you purchase order and contract created without but reference to a purchase requisition normally a company has a policy that all the purchase orders or contracts should be created with reference to a purchase requisition if there is no requisition then they should not be created but in certain cases you know people just bypass uh, some policies and they create a po or contract without reference to purchase requisition so in this report you can get that data if there is a case in your uh, client in seventh test i am showing you purchase orders created without a release strategy so uh, companies will have their own release strategy and if uh, certain purchase orders have been created by passing these then they should be reported upon then in test 8 i am uh, showing you purchase order created without gr based invoice verification check uh, gr based invoice verification is a very important uh, check in purchase order if we don't have this check then system allows users to bypass three way matching principle so a person can post a invoice without gr getting created first so it's very critical so uh, and should be uh, checked in test 9 i am showing you purchase orders created on public holidays as last time uh, i have created uh, treated public holidays uh, like you know i have considered uh, 26th of january 15th of august 2nd october and 25th december as public holidays to generate the reports for purchase orders in test 10 it this is a very interesting one multiple purchase order for value split by same user on same day for same material what does it mean like you know uh, person wants to raise a purchase order on a vendor however he is afraid that if uh, the value for which he wants to create a po is uh, generated in the system it will go for release to higher level where it may get rejected so to bypass that uh, uh, you know uh, second level release a user uh, many times they split the purchase order value and they create multiple purchase order on the same day so in this uh, report i am generating you uh, data where uh, you know uh, purchase orders have been split for a same vendor for a same material and on the same day by the same user in test 11 i just uh, you know i did uh, one more dimension that not only same user it could be different users also why not in a, uh, there could be collusion between users and they can say like okay let's you create a a portion of the purchase order and i'll create another portion so total two purchase orders are created on the same vendor and if it had been created one then it would have gone to different release strategy in test 12 i am showing you same material procured from different vendors with different price on same day so here it's very interesting to see uh, uh, my friend like you know uh, on the same day for on the, uh, in the same plant you are buying material at a different price from different vendors so that should be investigated you know there could be favoritism you know uh, from one vendor compared to another in test 13 i am uh, giving you report related to material procured from same vendor at different prices over a period of time then in test 14 same material procured from different vendors at different price so see the difference in test 13 same material procured from same vendor at different price but in test 14 same material procured from different vendors at different price in test 15 i am giving you another report vendors with single purchase order during the whole reporting period and where the value is above rupees 5 lakhs so is there any favoritism or why they had to go with that uh, you know exclusive vendor so you can just have a look on the data and if there is any outlier you can you know check that in last report i am generating uh, which says vendors with nil balance however 
having more than 5 lakhs rupees of transactions during the reporting period what does it mean like you know at the end of the reporting period vendor balances was made as zero however there have been lots of transactions during the year but as an auditor we normally you know go with the, those vendors where the there are balances and many clients uh, use this uh, our uh, way of doing audit as a you know uh, they will just make the vendor balances at zero and uh, at the end of the reporting period and probably they will uh, again uh, have there there could be any uh, uh, there could be miss uh, you know application or some dummy entries or just transactions routing in these cases so this is the last report which uh, i wanted to have in this procurement audit analytics now I take you to idea uh, screen. So uh, as we had done earlier, I need, uh, we need to have all the files generated from uh, those different tables into idea uh, project source fi uh, file folder. So uh, what I have done first, I have created a project test and then uh, I can show you uh, see test these are the 12 uh, sorry these are these are the eight uh, total files which i have created from sap so you can see like bsi kkko pkpo lfa1 all the eight files and all of them have got uh, transactional data master data everything just to show you one quick so you can see like you know uh, it has got 33,000 rows in EKKO table. So likewise, if I show you, uh, for example, PA002, this is the employee master data table. So here also you can see almost 2,000 uh, records I have in PA002. So uh, all these eight files should be copied in the source file folder and in the macros, this is the macro I have copied, uh, which I have created. So procurement template macro. Now we go to idea. One important point to uh, mention here, uh, a difference between GL macro and uh, this uh, procurement uh, audit macro. We also need to have a vendor transactions uh, one file, which would have got generated when you ran the GL macro. So this uh, file we are going to use in one of the analytics. This you can copy from uh, your previous project. Now let's go to uh, Macro uh, tab and click open. Click on Procurement Template Macro. And as you can see, there are these are the eight files which it will import and then these are the steps it will execute and finally we will have 16 uh, data file generated in the specific export folder I had created earlier, so I just delete it so that once it generates the exports, it should not ask any question. So, all eight uh, files have been imported into IDEA now. See how quickly it's moving. I would say uh, maybe in two, three minutes, this whole uh, macros will get completed.
yeah almost uh, now coming to the extraction so extraction of all those 16 uh, reports nodes generating one at a time see it says the visual script has completed without any errors so now close it and as you can see so all these data have been uh, you know imported and all the steps have been successfully completed and these are the different test uh, reports generated and we can go to the uh, exports folder in the test project and we can see all these 16 reports have been created so let's check randomly one PO created on public holidays so see these are the purchase orders which have been created on a public holidays so created 25th December we can see here right 15th August 25th December likewise similarly we can see like uh, whether uh, there are you know vendor with single PO with value above rupees 5 lakhs so see these are the purchase order where the values are above 5 lakhs so here I have considered the gross value of one purchase order where the it is more than 5 lakhs so these are all uh, you know. so hopefully uh, with all these 16 analytics related to procurement audit uh, it will help you you know uh, to do a more qualitative work in your audit